Hey guys, in this video, we're going to teach you how to create a full stack application that converts a YouTube video into an MP3 using Node.js. Let me show you how it works. So let's go over to a YouTube video and we're going to copy the video ID. All we have to do is just paste it in here, click convert, and it's going to convert it into an MP3, which you can download and keep. And we're not only going to show you how to create the application, we're also going to show you how to upload your project onto GitHub using Git. That way you can access it with Heroku and deploy it and have your very own URL for it. All right, let's get right into it. Hey guys, for this application, I created a to-do list that is going to help us go through this process. So step number one, we're going to install the packages that we need for this application. We're also going to set up the folders. Step number two, we're going to work on the back end or the server. Number three, we're going to work on the front end. Four, we're going to get our API key from YouTube to MP3. That way we can actually convert these videos to MP3s. Number five, we're going to send this project to GitHub. And number six, we're going to deploy this application on Heroku. All right, let's get started with step number one. First and foremost, create a folder. Um, I call it YouTube to MP3 because that's the name of the application. All right, let's open up our VS code. Please make sure you have Node.js installed. If you don't, just Google Node.js install or Node.js download. Go ahead and download it. It's a very simple install. And once you're done with that, you can come back here. So I'm gonna open up the folder that I just created. All right, now we're gonna click on terminal, new terminal, and we're gonna create our Node.js application. So to create it, just type in npm init. And this is gonna ask us a couple questions, not very important. So just click enter to skip through them. All right, now that we're done creating our application, we're going to install the packages that we need for this app. So we're gonna do npm i. And the first package is express. Another one we're gonna need is .env, ejs, node fetch. For this one, you're gonna use at and the number two, and go, go ahead and click enter. All right, once those are done, we're gonna install one more. So let's do npm i, and this one's called nodemon. And for this one, you're gonna use dash dash save dev. All right, just like that. All right, click enter. All right, that's done. Now let's set up our folders. So let's add a couple of files in here. The first one we're gonna call app js another one called proc file one called dot env another one called dot git ignore let's create a folder called public and within this folder we're going to create another one called css and within that we're going to create a file called style.css all right let's click down here to get out of that folder and let's create another folder this one's called views and within this one we're going to create a file called index.ejs and i'll explain more the purpose of all of these files as we move along here so don't worry if you don't know what some of these are doing all right we can exit all of these different tabs here. The only one that I want you to leave open is this app.js. We're gonna need that. And also, I want you to open up this package.json. All right, so here where it says main, we're gonna change this from index.js to app.js. And in here, we're gonna add something else. So you're gonna type in dev, and then nodemon app.js. So this is one of the packages that we installed. And this is going to ensure that whenever we make a change to our application, we don't have to stop the server and turn it back on to be able to see the changes on our server. So Nodemon is going to do it for us. That way we don't have to do it. And yeah, it's a very useful package. All right. 
So that's all we need to do in here. We can exit out of that. And that should do it for step number one.